Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Awesome Sean here and I am going solo with this beat em up game. A game that um, I played numerous times with the co-host and myself and yeah I just decided to go uh, pretty much solo with this one um, because I am playing this one off the Steam version. But anyway here folks we got River City Girls and exactly what is really, uh, River City Girls? It is a um, game that just came out last year. It was um, 2019. It's a beat em up video game de developed by WayForward. And WayForward is kind of famous for delivering great games such as the uh, Shantae series and others. And it's also with um, Arc Systems, this too. And it's a spin off title of the uh, Kunio Kun. Um, I know what that is. It's like um, it's the if you guys ever played the River City Ransom games, it's pretty much that. And uh, let's see here, it's available for uh, all the modern systems out there. Um, it's for the Nintendo Switch, the version that I own right now, along with the um, Steam version. There's a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version as well and i don't know why it's just been um it's been really hyped up last year i don't know what was going on um i've heard of river city you know but this game right here i didn't really get to play it until just recently um i want to say maybe the beginning of the year towards the end um i'm not really sure it was whenever i got my um my switch which was sometime in um, December but yeah River City Girls is a beat em up brawler the player can choose between uh, Kyoko and Masako and for this playthrough I decided to go with Masako because her attitude fits mine a little bit and um, Kyoko's fine too but I just like girls with a little spice to them which is uh, Masako she's sarcastic and all that but um yeah you can it's obviously two players um, but yeah, you pretty much uh, progress through six areas in a lunar manner, a uh, linear, sorry. But you're free, like uh, within like River City Ransom, you're free to return to previous areas if needed to be so. Um, I'm going to try my best when it comes to this playthrough to show off. Um, there is a uh, secret ending that you can get uh, by breaking um, the statues. And I'm going to try to try my best to show the locations of the statue and you know where you can find them and whatnot but yeah this game um, pretty much the, both of the characters Kyoko and Masako have you know unique uh, unique moves and animations so you know it's best to play this game multiple times to get the best out of um, both of them but they are um, six bosses within the game and to be able to advance to the next area, the player must defeat the bosses of the current area. And in this part, we'll be showing off the first boss. So, defeated enemies drop money for the player uh, for the player to collect, just like in River City Ransom, which I've had played, but I didn't know. Like the thing with Riv River City Ransom is that I didn't know where any of the um, I had no. I had no idea what I was doing it, because number one I was younger and number two the game just didn't make sense it was a brawler but um, yeah defeated enemies drop money for the player um, money can be used to spend at various shops to purchase items food gear all of this to increase your stats just like in you know most modern beat em ups that have that system you know where you're able to beat up on your opponent and you are able to um, you know level up as a result as you can see here I'm kicking the crap out of these girls but I'm getting experience at the same time so I like games that do that but anyway um yeah as you can see here you got the guy right here he's telling you different um, you can recruit defeated enemies and by the way you recruit them is that they'll have their hands in like you know kind of like a prayer stance and then you'll get the opportunity to recruit them um, let's see, um, money can also be used to purchase, um, 
new items and the reason why I cut that area out is because I've been in there before and I didn't want to waste uh, your guys time so that's why I um, that's why I pretty much blocked that out but anyway um this vending machine that we see on the screen uh, you could get uh, healing items if you need to um, because if you're not careful it's really easy to get a game over in this game but um yeah as I stated before uh, your abilities the abilities that you get can be shown with the um, you know the plus button whatever that may be on your controller um, so you can uh, also see what I just read, did right there I just recruited her so she's used as a striker so the combos in this game can get crazy almost like um almost Marvel versus Capcom like there's a statue right there that I was mentioning um Sabu statues that I'm gonna try to collect there's 25 of them according to that marker that was just shown so I'm going to try to show off where every 25 of them are and if I can't do it in the playthrough um I will be able to at least show them off where they are so you guys can get the um so you guys can get the secret in it if you want um let's see here yeah abilities are all simple to perform you just push the directional button and you know your attack button and you know for the uh, complexity for advanced players lies in chaining the simple uh, moves together into long combos which you can easily do you know you don't have to be a Street Fighter 5 master pro to chain combos together within this game so um, like I stated before you can gain experience points and you can level up from defeated enemies um, such as in River City Ransom Underground oh, I never heard of that before River City Ransom Underground anyway um, completion of quests you have quests in this game that you can do most of them are optional you don't have to do it but if you do do it you will earn uh, money for um, you know if you're playing with another person which is highly recommended by the way um, if you do that you will grant experience and money for both characters so if I do like if say me and the co-host played this game which we have folks um, I did my own playthrough he did his own playthrough he got the game before me um, we did our own separate playthroughs and then we played together and we had a good time um, beating this game for like the third time but anyway um yeah if he um d's play style is drastically different from mine's see when d plays a game he likes to go for everything i like to go for the bare minimum if possible so guess what i was doing him with him a lot of quests <laughs> Um, but yeah, quests are good though, because you get m money and you get experience uh, points. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, ensuring that one player is not using in the single player game does not fall behind in levels of money because of the, um, you know, experience share and money share. Um, as bosses are defeated in the game, enemies become stronger, which pulled my hair out, but you you can get stronger as well so even though the enemies get stronger um, you'll be able to get stronger as well I'm playing with the um, the Xbox 360 controller and it's not really doing it for me so I may or may not switch uh, during the gameplay um, I might I might just keep it I don't know I'm, I'm getting kind of accustomed to the controller at least it's not the uh, original brick Xbox controller so um, Anyway, um, you know, upon defeating the enemy in, a fi in a, the final enemy in an area, they might surrender, which I play pretty much showed off. So you can choose rather to uh, defeat the enemy as normal, or you can recruit them. And recruited enemies can summon to assist the player, although uh, only one recruit is kept at a time. Um, you can pick up a variety of objects within the game. To use them as uh, improvised weapons, but they will break after using uh, multiple times, like out of any, um, like out of uh, any uh, beat 'em up. If you get a weapon and you use it multiple times, it breaks. Of course, um, if the player loses all their stamina bar, which is the uh, pink uh, segments at the top, um, the player is defeated. 
you know, or if both players, you know, in a multiplayer, um, you see what I got me, uh, Masako and the money I got right there and what level I'm at is at level two. If I come over here to the right side, Kyoko would be here if I had another player with me and, um, Kyoko would have her own status, um, on that side. And, um, if I was defeated and Kyoko's still on the screen, she could continue, she can revive me, um, if she can get to me. So it, the player must be start from the current room if you're defeated and lose a portion of their cash on hand. So if I get defeated, I would lose a good portion of the amount of money that I have right now. So I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that. If 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 at that. Also, a um, the way to revive the other player, like if I had D um, playing with me right now, it's kind of actually kind of hilarious because what you'll do is like. An angel or uh, um, depart from you know the fallen body and then you know the character has to um, keep the angel back into the person's body which acts as a timer so you have to be pretty much revived as quickly you know as possible but sometimes it's kind of hard to do because you have um, enemy enemies like you know these guys that are commonly uh, that are constantly coming after you so um, yeah River, River City Girls is the first uh, collabor uh, collaboration between Arc System Works and Way Forward, and the second time that Way Forward has worked with um, an intellect intellectual property that previously belonged to Technos Japan Corp, having previously worked on Double Dragon Neon, and you folks know about Double Dragon Neon. Well, if you be well, if you've been to the channel, you know a long time, you would know about. Double Dragon Neon because me and the co-host we did a playthrough on that about a couple of years back I think it was like two three years this channel's not that old um, Speaking of the channel it is coming up on this three year anniversary soon no four year anniversary I'm not sure I have to go back and check to see how many years it's actually been but um, You know besides that um, Yeah, the, um, the game was in development uh, development for nearly three years. Wow, that's a long time for. Well, I heard worse. I'm still waiting on Tekken Cross Street Fighter, by the way. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Capcom. Um, yeah, um, River City Girls was directed by Adam Turnley, uh, Tierney, and Bannon Re Redis. I am butchering those names, and I'm sorry. Um, the latter had previously worked on River City Ransom Underground. What is River City Ransom Underground? Uh, let me see, because I'm about to look this up. I'm actually pretty, um, pretty curious about what it is. Okay, I'm looking at the, wow, the box art is terrible. <laughs> uh, especially the, uh, North American. Why do Americans always have the worst box art when it comes to, um, the releases? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wow, this game was released in 1990. Uh, the year I was born. Uh, beat 'em up action role playing game. Uh, so it seems to be. Hmm. Well, I, all I know is this, that it's on Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I might have to look into it and actually see what it um what it offers as far as gameplay and all that good stuff. So I don't really have time to look over it right now, but. Yeah, um, let's see, where were I, uh, okay, into the, uh, development, but, um, yeah, uh, Tierney approached, uh, Rudis with the idea of a new entry in the Cuneo Con series, um, take the game in a new goofy and zany direction, so, yeah, they all agreed to work on the game, the goal was to create a River City Ransom game in the shit style of uh Shantae which I think they did a good job in um um pretty much a good they did a good job is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um yeah you guys know about Shantae it's way for uh flagship series. Um more expressive and larger represent uh representation than previous games in the Kunio Khan series. I really do hope that if they do come out with more River City games that it's in the style of this because this artwork is very, I don't know if you guys know, but I am a sucker for art being uh, an artist myself. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but yeah, I am a sucker for art. Um, let's see, this game, uh, the aim of the game was to 
exclude style each character having their own unique moves that would wow these are a lot of big words is syndicate their personalities uh let's see here from start to finish it was decided that the game would use pixel art to connect it to previous games in the franchise which is a very good idea that you guys had um decide, decided to do that anyway uh, most of the game staff was new uh, mostly regarding the game's art style music and animation so wow um most of the people who worked on this game was new that's kind of cool um, WayForward's um, visual effects artist animated the sequences. Okay, all right. So um, yeah, this game was released in September um, 2019, and I remember the hype for this game. Like a bunch of YouTubers were hyped to play this game, and eventually, you know, they did reviews and whatnot and got their PC within this game and saying, you know, how good it is and all that good stuff. But you know, I'm. I was interested in but I didn't have the money nor the system well I had a PS4 I still got my PS4 I just didn't have the money to play these games because River City um, at the time was still running at 30 bucks I don't know if it still is or not um, I got mine at a discounted price of 21 bucks so it was 20.99 on the Nintendo eShop so um, I believe the co-host spent the whole $30. Me, I like to wait on discounts if possible because uh, I like to save money. <laughs> so I actually waited to it. Um, you know, I actually waited to... I actually waited for uh, the game to drop down in price. But um, anyway, yeah, it's for the eShop, PlayStation Network, Xbox Game Store. Steam and GOG.com uh, limited run games released it a physical copy of the game as well as the collector's edition including several add-ons. I'm actually kind of interested in that. Um, following criticism, uh, Way 4 alters the games. Uh, well, I don't want to ruin that. We'll get into that. But um, yeah, but yeah, this game right here, people was hyped for it, uh, giving it, you know mostly positive reviews and they say that it is you can tell by the art style this is a great um overall uh beat em up now this girl here is misizu masizu i'm probably butchering that even though the characters say the name already but yeah she's not really that hard um the reason why i was actually getting hit by her is because when it comes to bosses within video games, I'm impatient. You guys who have been here since the beginning probably already knew that. I'm impatient when it comes to video games and it also leads to failure, which plenty of you guys have seen here on the channel. If you're new, you're in for a treat. Uh, let's just say that. If you're new, you're going to see me failing also because, you know, of my lack of patience. Uh, you guys will probably say if you're new. Man, you need to chill, be patient, be calm, and you'll eventually beat that. But yeah, um, people praise the game because of its, um, you know, it being a two-player uh, beat 'em up. I think at the time of the uh, the release of this game, it wasn't that many beat 'em ups. I'm not sure, but I know this one was the one that people was actually pretty hyped about. Um, I don't think there were any beat 'em up releases in uh 2019 i'm about to find that out because we do have one beat em up that is coming out uh this year which i am pretty uh excited about and you guys um probably know that it's streets of rage 4 um that's coming out but uh from right now what i'm seeing there are i don't think there there probably were um some beat em ups because I remember, uh, well, that was two years ago that Capcom released it, that uh, beat em up collection. But yeah, brawlers are coming back. But anyway, folks, this is going to do it for the end of the part here. I'm going to decide to end it here because we have much more to explore within the game. So I'm going to end it right here. This will be a good um, ending spot to show off the first boss at least. But you folks have a fantastic day and take care. See you soon.